Alright, so this is that video a lot of you guys have been asking for about the board and everything. So uh, the first part of the video is going to be just me going over the board and the different parts and how I put it together and then the second part will be me riding the board and stuff. So uh, I started out with a mountain board that I've had for some time now. Um, I reused one of the rear trucks and basically had a welding shop weld a metal plate to the truck here. Um, once I had that welded on, I was able to create the brackets for the motor here, which the motor can slide in in order to adjust the chain tension. Um, it's pretty snug, so I cut down the board slightly. Um, this here is the uh, XLR, which is the charging plug for it. Um, yeah, that's a light switch right now for the main power because the uh, power switch I had was causing it to trip the low voltage sensor so I'm uh, I'm temporarily using this switch till I get the other switch in um, so this here is the 36 volt uh, 650 watt motor um, this runs from an 11 tooth sprocket to a uh, 47 tooth sprocket um, this is the motor controller for it which runs from a, a six wire throttle cable that's a uh, got Hall effect sensors to know like how fast the motor's RPM is going and what positions it and all that stuff so um, that way it makes transitioning while you're moving from coasting to accelerating smoother it also makes accelerating uh, like the throttle a lot smoother um, the motor has tons of low-end torque it could honestly go faster but I it already goes fast enough it does about 17 on flat and if you're coasting downhill, it'll do easily over 20. So don't want to get any uh, speed wobbles or anything. But so simple turning is, you know, you lean on the board and I mean, trucks move and everything. Uh, the batteries here are three 12 volt uh, lead acid batteries. So they're wired in series. Um, they're 15 amp hours each, which are extended duration. So yesterday I was able to ride it for 45 miles or more and before it hit the low light. Um, bindings to put your feet in. On the front, I got the uh, MBS Vector Pro, which is a titanium alloy truck that's got a twin king pin in it. So this one's a lot sturdier, it helps for steering. Um, and then this is the brake kit, these two discs in the front here. Um, so basically this is the brake cable and when you pull this, it presses on the discs and that's how you stop. Um, throttle cable is pretty ghetto right now because I bought a thumb throttle but it wasn't actually uh, compatible with the six wire since it was only a four but basically when you turn it on it tells you your power and then your battery amount and it's just a simple you just push it with your thumb and that's how you go. So it's a variable speed throttle. Um, and then the hardest part of the board towards the back is actually adapting the the wheel has a five lug on it and the sprocket was a three lug so I had to machine this aluminum plate on a lathe um, in order to adapt it from the five lug to the three but now it's perfect. So uh, that's the overview of the board and now we'll take some videos of me riding it. So in order to get on the board all you do is you hold the front brake which keeps the board steady so it's easier to get into the bindings. So once you're in the bindings turn it on power's on, on the battery, and then you just really ease into the throttle because it's got a lot of a lot of torque to it. But there it goes. I'm sure I'll be riding it to car meets and shit at school, so I'll see you guys then. Take it easy.